is a very old settlement dating back all the way to uh, the Vikings and the old Inuit people. Uh, there's been Viking settlements here all the way through the, uh, the uh, Middle Ages and um, the Danes and the Norwegians uh, settled here and, and founded a colony back in the 1770s, in uh, 1774. And uh, since then, uh, this settlement has been the center of South Greenland. Today we have uh, 3,000 people living here. Karotto is the Inuit word for white and it's mainly because of the, the white granite bedrock that we have here. This is a Greenland flag, a quite young flag from the mid 80s. The circle in, is symbolizing the everlasting sun during the summer and the very dark period during the winter is, is the whiteness. The white area uh, of the red rectangular symbolizes the ice cap and the, the red symbolizes the land. The Vikings uh, settled here around year 1000. That was Eric the Red, uh, a Viking um, who got in trouble on Iceland and who had to leave Iceland. He was uh, sentenced to, um, to leave Iceland uh, for three years. And during those three years, he went here and uh, found Greenland. And he decided that was a place for Icelanders to settle. Since 1774, the Danes and the Norwegians settled here and founded a colony. And this settlement became the, the center and still is the center of southern Greenland. The people here is a hardy breed, I would say. They are very adaptable. And I think that's a very important part of the success that people has been able to survive here for so many years in this very harsh climate. You can see blonde Greenlanders with Eskimo blood and also uh, very dark Greenlanders that looks like uh, Inuits with Danish blood in them as well. I mean, it's, it's an extremely mixed population. It's a, it's a melting pot. The thing I really like about Greenland is that the people are so warm and open-hearted. You notice that there is a lot of colors of the houses. Um, it's probably to do with the Norwegian influence in Greenland. And they brought with them the red color, the blue color, and uh, the yellow colors of the houses that, that, that we also see in Norway. The isolation of the place makes it more important to, to tell the world that we are here, that, that there is people living here. When I travel around here in a boat, it's so nice to see a town, you know, because you can see it from at long distance because of the very bright colors. This is a carving of uh, the Greenlandic folklore hero, Gaisesho. He's a kind of an anti-hero. He, um, he lost his parents when he was a, a little boy and he was raised by some bad people. And he was filled with a lot of anger towards these people. He succeeded in getting some magical powers. I mean, he could uh, lift anything. He was a kind of a superman of, of the Inuit people. And uh, he, he decided to make a revenge against the people who had been so bad towards him. And uh, finally, he, he realized that, that that wasn't the way. The, the way was forgiveness. And uh, he, he decided not to you know, use his power, his magical muscles towards these people. So yeah, so he's, he's one of the very important figures and, and moralistic uh, figures in, in, in the Inuit folklore. These 
These are rock carvings uh, as a part of the project uh, Stone and Man. It's a project made by a, a group of Scandinavian uh, Nordic artists. They are all over town and you can make a, a, a grand city tour just looking at these carvings, seeing uh, you know, the, the, art, the, the works of many different uh, artists from all over the Nordic countries. Thank you very much for coming to Greenland. Uh, we hope that you have appreciated our culture and our way of life, and we hope very much to see you again. Thank you.